that this educational game that I play is a chemistry game about the lanthanides and actinides elements from the periodic table. Again, I'm using this interactive exercise where I have to sort the elements like they appear exactly in the periodic table. Now, the lanthanides, lanthanide and actinide, actinide elements are usually given separately from the periodic table because they appear here after the alkali elements in the row 6 and end with the transition metals which in the original periodic table are just next to the alkali and alkali and alkaline earth elements. So now I see them spread where they have moved the table and I will begin with the first one from the lanthanide elements and this is the lanthin I think. But let's see, that should be a pink one. Yes, the element 57, uh, which is the lanthanum. lanthanum. Uh, it has 57 electron, electrons around the atom core. And it looks like this element is used in the production of the lanterns like the green lantern. <laughs> okay, the next lanthanide element is with number 58 and that is the cerium. It is used in the lighters, producing lighters, it looks like. So the next one is 59. I will use my short key now. There, this is praseodymium. <laughs> Wait, I will try again. Praseodymium. Praseodymium. This is insane. It looks like this element is used in the construction vehicles or materials. Praseodymium. Okay, I will go to the next. This is element 60 from the lanthanide. Neodymium. Neodymium. It has 80 electrons in the atom and it looks like it is used in construction of some sort of bulbs like quartz lamps, but with different color. The next lanthanide element from the periodic table is the prometium. prometium. Looks like this element is radioactive and I just wonder what is he doing here in the lanthanides. What I remember is that the Actinides are the radioactive elements, but it looks like one of them, for some reason, have jumped into, into the lanthanide group, that is the prometium. So, I'm looking for element number 62. Which one is that? Mmm, so interesting. Which, 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 which one? This is Samarium. And the next one is the Europium. Another lanthanide element. And it looks like Euro Europium. Euro Europium. <sighs> Europium. It's used in, in the old TV boxes. Okay, now I'm looking for element C. 
64, which is 64, which is which is gadolinium GD abbreviation uh, used in what is that a submarine? Interesting. Okay, next element. 65 is the terbium and it looks like terbium is used in production of radars on or radar systems okay the next lanthanide element in the row is p66 element 66 this is Ah, dice prosium. Hmm. What? Used in hard drives? So, I have this element here around me. It's good that it's not radioactive. Like this 61 element prometheum. Well, it uh, may also be some kind of mistake that the creator have made. But for now, I will assume this is correct and I'm going to the element element number 67 which is let's see this is holmium looks like it is used in the production of some magnetic devices and the next lanthanid element is the erbium used in photography it has 68 electrons in the atom and I see that the next one have appeared correctly that is tulium with atomic number of 69 tulium is used in space devices construction Okay, now I'm searching for element number 70. This is Iterbium, used in construction of ordinary clocks, with 70 electrons in the atom. Okay, and the last lanthanide, lanthanide element is... What is it? 71 lutetium lutetium is the last actin actinite uh, la lanthanide element it looks like it is used in the um, oil drilling so the lanthanide elements are from lanthanium to the lutetium I think they are 15 as I correctly remember 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, yes. And now I'm going to the actinite elements. <clears throat> maybe it's time to use my hint. Or maybe I can make this without a hint. Let me try. Now the first actinite is the actinium, like the lanthanite. Lant Tanium. This the first actin actinite is actinium. The seven, the next, uh, and uh, is uh, it is uh, radioactive. So I think all actinite elements are radioactive. So it is best we never have uh, experience with these elements, except we are a uh, high level physicists. <laughs> Okay, I'm looking for element number 91 and this is protactinium, the next radioactive element and I think element 92 is one of the most popular radioactive elements, this is uranium, it is used into atomic weapons, 
which is disgusting. Uh, well, it is our future though, so we should get to used to it. This, these are the last actinides uh, that uh, are not available for sorting, but because they are synthetic, they are not given here in the in this exercise. Okay, I'm looking for element number 93. Where's my short key? Here it is. That is Neptunium, another radioactive thing. Looks like it's used in space construction. And uh, 94 is the other most popular radioactive element. Ah, wait. I touched something that I shouldn't. Sixty-six, stay there and stay there. Okay, this is ZK. That should be plutonium, I think. Yes, plutonium. Another popular element to create weapons of mass destruction. So, I'm looking for element number 95. What is that? Oh, I skipped it. This is americium. Americium. Uh, again, radioactive. But what is that usage? This is some sort of fan. Is there radioactive fans? <laughs> 96. There is curium. I think this element is named after the uh, physicist Mariah Curie. That is what I merely remember from interesting reading and videos about chemistry. And the element 97 is 97 that should be berkelium another radioactive thing and I'm going to 98 and this is californium this is the last sortable element from the actinide elements and the rest till laurentium I think Again, there are 15 elements in the periodic table that are actinides. Now, let me try to open the door. Yes, so they have been set correctly. I got my knowledge level. This is the knowledge dosage for today. It was uh, more than usual. But now gaming should be sweeter. And until new meetings.